Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, let's talk about a video that uh, Dr. Diggs made and put me in the title. I thought I would address the, uh, the points that he brought up. But I put out a uh, community post just to let people know that I was going to do this. And people were like, no, don't do it. Don't feed the drama. And I thought about it again, and I guess I won't react to the video. Um, but what I can do instead is react to the comments. So the people that wanted uh, drama will have it come right to their doorstep. <laughs> uh, but I do enjoy going to other uh, YouTubers and then looking at their comment section uh, because like different, there's like, you know, different audience for each YouTuber. And then also, even if we share some viewers, uh, like some viewers will comment on some channels videos, but not others. And it's always fascinating to see that uh, kind of the difference in audience, uh, the type of comments that they get and stuff. And I also get to like get an insight into uh, the player base uh, that I don't usually see on like Reddit or on my own uh, channel. Okay, well let's go through the uh, the comments. Let's see what's in here. And then if you don't like uh, your comment being uh, featured here, uh, welcome to the internet, bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you can come to my channel and we'll talk it out. Uh, if you make a convincing case, I will maybe take down the video for you. Uh, probably not, but uh, it's worth a try. VC cards. Oh yeah, vision card cards. That doesn't bother me so much. What else we got? Doubt Cabbage hates you. No, I do not hate him. Mix of annoyance and sarcasm. Sarcasm? I am annoyed by a lot of things, but I think my sense of humor is more dry than sarcastic. Uh, Umber Rays, he's the uh, sarcastic one. Chicken Little memes. I did see some of those. I didn't think that they were that interesting or funny, though. Uh, they just grabbed pictures from the movie, and then that was it? I don't know. <laughs> if he doesn't reciprocate the want to be friends or friendly, who cares? Indeed, who cares? I think people are wondering if uh, Diggs and I get along. Uh, the truth is, we don't really have a relationship, so we can't really say if we get along or not. Let's see here. No one's perfect. That is true. Let's see here. This user says, I forgive you, Doc. Still haven't watched uh, Dr. Diggs' video, so I don't know if he apologizes to me. Uh, but he doesn't have to apologize to me uh, if this is regarding the, uh, the rigged banners thing, uh, because I was not deceived. Uh, but if this user here was deceived, then they have some uh, forgiveness to give there. See, this user says, uh, it's your channel, you can say what you want. That is true as well. Uh, but as people that are uh, content creators putting information out there, we have a responsibility to put out information that is accurate. So that, at least, uh, we should pay attention to. This user says, the two YouTubers are not getting along. That's not true, we just don't interact. Oh, this is interesting. I'm so free to play that I only watch YouTubers who don't monetize their videos. Is that a thing? <laughs> that shouldn't be a thing. Uh, another reason why I wanted to make uh, this video to react to these comments, even though some people were telling me not to, uh, is that I can kind of bring up some topics that I was kind of meaning to talk about anyway. The reason why I don't monetize my channel is because it's like more work and I don't want to think about it. Uh, like, you think about all the ways that you could monetize a YouTube channel. Uh, you got the in-game ads. You could, like, set up a fan club or whatever. I don't even know what it is. Uh, you could have, like, a Patreon. You could be, like, making hats or t-shirts or, like, uh, Amazon links. I just don't want to deal with any of that. That's just laziness on my part. So that's the biggest reason why I don't have a monetized channel. Uh, but also, because I don't have a monetized channel and I don't need to rely on it for anything, like it's not a significant amount of my income, is that I don't have to worry about making the viewers happy. I just have to make myself happy. So I can say what I want, I can make the type of videos that I want, I can make them on the schedule that I like, I can be the person that I want to be, and I can piss off the people that I want to piss off. <laughs> so that's another reason why uh, my channel is not monetized. 
And also, people seem to think that, well, I say a lot that, you know, it's good to be a free channel because of all those reasons that I say. Uh, but just because I say, like, I like my non-monetized channel doesn't mean that I disapprove of monetized channels. Like, one does not deserve your attention more than the other or deserve your, uh, your trust that more than the other just because of that reason. And I have respect for uh, Dr. Diggs in this area. Like, there'll be people in the comments, you know, saying like, you know, I got trouble with my Amazon uh, code, like it's not working or something, and then he'll troubleshoot that. And I'm just like, oh my God, that sounds like work. I don't want to do that. <laughs> but he's hustling, he's making it happen. Let's see here, Magic Delita is my biggest regret. Did Diggs really recommend Delita? I think he's good. He's, he's pretty straightforward, but I think he's good. I mean, all units are good in this game, so nobody should regret leveling up any character. Uh, you are Zazan. Are people regretting their vote for Zazan? I don't think people should. People get very weird about, like, like characters in, like, uh, narratives or stories that they don't like. Like, people make judgments about characters in-game because they don't approve of what they do. But kind of the point of an antagonist uh, of, a, uh, of a bad guy is that they're not supposed to be good and you're not supposed to agree with what they're doing. And so, like, it's that concept of you love to hate somebody, you know? That's a good bad guy. <laughs> and I think Zazan fits that uh, pretty well. Um, and yeah, you are, you know, he'll be, uh, he'll be a good character. He'll live up to whatever his uh, cost is going to be. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to him. Agrius Apology. I don't know what that's about. I think Agrius is a great character. One of the, uh, the two best tanks in the game, in Global at least, along with uh, Warrior of Light. Aha. Yeah, this is just what I was talking about. <laughs> You can vote for a bad guy and not like them. You can you know, love to hate them. That's what that is. How the hell do people expect you to pull for these units without some monetization? I don't know. Uh, different people, they got different situations. I'm lucky that I'm in a situation where I don't need to uh, get any outside help to pay for my pulls. I'll admit at first watching your videos, I thought you had the mindset that Gumi Alim could do no wrong. I think maybe what that is, I think you could say that about uh, any content creator, is that you can say that they can do no wrong until they do wrong. <laughs> maybe where people chafe with my, uh, not defending of the company, but like explaining their point of view uh, or explaining like the context of what's going on, is that um, I have a lot more experience with uh, mobile games and uh, the mobile game industry and the history of all of that, uh, different companies, different games, and then also Japanese culture. So I have much like greater, wider, broader perspective than a lot of people, uh, which is how I'm able to explain stuff. Uh, but if people are already in a mindset where they want to you know, be against the company, uh, it's not going to translate to them. Make a script first or a guide with accurate research. Yeah, that's fair to expect. I don't think you ever mentioned your name at all. That is true. I never mentioned his name. Spicy. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Diggs can be spicy. I can be vinegary. I take digs at you all the time, but hopefully we can still be friends, big guy. I kind of consider Dr. Diggs the, uh, the punching bag of the, uh, the War of the Visions community, but he's pretty tough to uh, put up with everybody. <laughs> Trolling with Ayaka's Immobilize. Yeah, Ayaka's AI was kind of wonky in the beginning of the game, but I don't think that's something you can blame on a content creator. I remember uh, when uh, Global first came out, like there were plenty of people on Reddit complaining about the, uh, the auto battle, but there were also a lot of other people, especially in JP, that were just sitting down and figuring out how to make the, uh, the AI work for them. I'm not a big fan of complainers. I feel like they're just doing it for attention and uh, sympathy. You're not going to get it from me. It's a shame that you and Cabbage have some issues. I don't think we do. Again, we don't have a relationship at all.
I didn't notice that there was a thing between you and cabbage. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh no, this is so sad. I totally tried to make a huge resist whisper before defense penetration was a thing and just got wrecked constantly. You, sir, are not using her correctly. I'm still using her now in a JP against uh, EX job units and I'm doing great, so... Yeah, maybe uh, reassess your whisper usage. As a multiple war veteran, if fighting over a mobile phone video game is as bad as it gets, then things are pretty good. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, we're very lucky to be in the times that we're living in, where for many of us, uh, like life is good enough that it's boring. We don't have to deal with hunger, we don't have to deal with war. I guess we're dealing with a disease, but you, you get my point. But like the trend of people that like are faced with boredom and don't know how to handle it, they'll create drama in some way in order to you know spice up their life. But adults, they can take that boredom and they can own it. To be bored is a skill that I think a lot of people are not uh, very good at. And part of that is keeping things in perspective. So thank you, Jamie Fryers. Thank you for your service. Why don't you and Cabbage do a collab video? Come on, guys, make up. Uh, again, I don't think there's any falling out between us because there is nothing to have fallen out. Um, but... I do not do collaborations, really. Uh, Diggs did reach out to me once for the uh, the half anniversary live stream, uh, but that was through the Reddit uh, messages or chat, one of those two, and I never ever checked those, so I didn't notice it until after the uh, the live stream was. It was either already underway or it was already over, but I didn't notice it until it was too late. But also, like I've done some very casual talks with Prodigy. Uh, I think Umber Rays was up to do a uh, collaboration. But all of those fell through because I was just like, <laughs> I'm kind of an asocial person. Maybe I don't like people. But like the reason why I like uh, making YouTube videos is because I can just kind of talk to nothing. I can just, you know, shout out into the void and just put out the videos. And then if somebody like gets something from it or likes it, it's kind of just like a happy accident. I'm really just putting out stuff that I'm happy with. But if it were a situation where I were like, uh, you know, face to face to somebody, I might uh, clam up. I don't know if I would uh, enjoy doing that. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a collaboration with anybody. Here, this viewer I think is referencing the uh, rigged banners thing. That was too bad. That was uh, some people jumping to conclusions. The thing is, is that like the luck was bad and then like we were set up to kind of expect something like this to happen. And then when something happened that looked similar, but wasn't actually it, a lot of people came to the wrong conclusion. Um, everything that was said about the JP scandal, I stand by. Everyone that said something about it, because that was an actual scandal. Uh, that was... Uh, the pool of the actual hatchers were not uh, reflective of the, uh, the drop rates that were published in-game uh, because the entire pool there was mapped out very quickly. Uh, while in global, I don't think that uh, entire pool was ever mapped out in full, uh, so no real conclusion could have been drawn. So I made my statement about the JP situation, and then when I saw something similar happen in global, I kind of stepped back because I wasn't sure at that time. I was suspicious, of course, but I stepped back, I saw how things played out. And then, when I saw more evidence of, like, you know, people getting pulls that were not matched by anybody else, and then also when they uh, let the, the Hatcher stand in Global for the entire scheduled time, then I thought, okay, that was a legit banner, nothing to get upset about. But yeah, I've talked about this, uh, people took it the wrong way, they lost a lot of trust in the company when... Uh, there was no need for that. But yeah, that is how people with a platform can kind of uh, mislead people. Do some damage to the game and the community that uh, was unnecessary. Oh, I guess this is the Augurius um, controversy. Yeah, you see, this is why I don't like tier lists. <laughs> we watch you because you're entertaining. That is a big compliment. If you can get somebody to watch your video, even if they don't have any interest in the topic, that's, that's a big compliment. 
I would say never take anything to heart. You two have thick skin, and it's needed especially given you got eyes and voices on both of you. In my case, when I'm, when I'm given information about the game, I try to be as accurate as possible. Uh, but when I'm talking about my personal feelings, like if I want to pull for something or if I want to level something, always take that with a grain of salt because I might change my mind. And then also when I'm uh, poking fun at like uh, free-to-play players that are too self-important or Orlando users or something, th those are always kind of tongue-in-cheek, um, poking fun. <laughs> Like this channel, you know, I've been doing YouTube for a while now, but uh, this is easily the most subscribers that I've ever had. And it's been very interesting to experience as like, to be sort of like one of the, the centers of a, uh, of a community surrounding uh, an object, a game in this case. And uh, part of the reason why I have been continuing doing this is just kind of like as an experiment uh, to see if I can take these slings and arrows and it seems like I can. <laughs> and then part of the reason why I'm doing it is because, again, I'd like to make a channel uh, about fashion someday. And then maybe I would want to monetize that channel. And then I'm kind of seeing, like, you know, how I can handle being sort of like an internet uh, sort of visible figure. So, yeah, this has been interesting and useful for that reason. That's the Japanese blood and cabbage that want you to beg for apology. That's so stiff, really. I don't know. I mean, I did say before that the Japanese people really value, you know, apologies. They put, I would say, even like maybe too much value in it. But like when you apologize for something, you like, you kind of like settle the matter, you know, you, you set the record straight. And if you never apologize for something, then people might not be sure about, you know, what the truth is. And then the reason why, like, Maybe some people accuse me of not being able to let go of the, the rig banner scandal. Uh, the reason for that is because we're still feeling the fallout from it. We still have people that distrust the company uh, because of that, when it's unnecessary. And that's why the apology is necessary. I think Cabbage has high hopes in you and believe that you can be the best Global War of the Vision content creator. I do have high hopes for Dr. Diggs. <laughs> I remember when he was just starting out and he was talking about his uh, veterinary school. And I think his first major videos were the ones about uh, like different equipment, looking at the different like uh, fists and swords and things. So yeah, we've seen him come a long way. All right, Zaki Aoi is probably uh, joking here, but you are Zazan is 100% your fault. A lot of people were on the Zazan train. <laughs> I pulled Elita for you, and now I'm very regretful. I don't think you should be. He's good. Make him work for you. Cabbage and his dark, sarcastic humor is fun to watch, but somehow as a player and War of the Visions fan, I feel more connected to you and your content. Uh, again, I think my sense of humor is dry, not sarcastic. But I do think that maybe people can feel more connected to Dr. Diggs, because... I do kind of put some distance in between myself and everybody. I mean, I do that in real life as well, but like in War of the Visions, for example, I don't do Discord. Uh, I don't do any of the message or chat whatever in uh, Reddit. So yeah, I can understand where uh, this person is coming from. Rile up a community that understood very quickly that it wasn't rigged. I don't know if that was that quickly, and I don't know if people understood it very much. <laughs> Don't change and don't apologize because you address things differently from him. Yeah, if you know, if you got a different viewpoint of something, that's cool. I would love, I mean, I am loving all of the, uh, the YouTubers that are springing up, you know, and they all got their different views and different priorities about the game, and I love that. There shouldn't be any apologies for that. I just want the, uh, the info to be accurate, that's all. As long as you're not hurting anyone, don't ever apologize for being yourself. Again. If you have your own view, that's great. If you're giving incorrect information, that's not great. <laughs> you gotta understand gotcha games are still a new thing on the West, so people will have questions all the time. Yeah, this is true. And this explains kind of my vinegary attitude. Again, I've been playing uh, these type of games for a while now. And like every new game that I start, I have to have the same conversations and the same arguments over and over and over again. Uh, but with all new people. 
because people, they don't know the history of mobile games. Uh, they don't know the nature of the industry of mobile games. They don't understand Japanese culture. Uh, they come from a console game culture, which is, you know, give you whiplash when you go to a mobile game. Uh, they don't understand the game design of these games needing to take years to really play out and develop. Uh, they don't understand how the, the pace of a game uh, can change from the first six months to the first year to the second year and third and so on. So yeah, it's basically me just like with not so much patience, having to say the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> when Cabbage talks about other YouTubers, he talks about them in certain sections of the global community and how their collective thoughts may affect the whole community. Nothing was personal. This is true. I don't mean to criticize or correct anybody in particular. I'm just criticizing everybody. Just spread it around everywhere. <laughs> Nothing personal. I only watched Cabbage videos about rigged pulls and I didn't know he was so toxic as some people say. What an unpleasant guy. Well, watch a few more of my videos. Uh, see if I am what people say I am. <laughs> Everyone can keep their opinion, including a person that want to level limited time units at level 89 and make his unit at 39 brave. <laughs> All right, I still stand by my advice uh, to take limited time units to 89 at the time. Now, I don't recommend it, of course, because we have EX jobs, uh, but nobody could have predicted EX jobs were going to come one year after release. Uh, but I am going to do the kind of the super version of that, and I'm going to recommend people take their EX units to 115 instead of 120, uh, because you can save yourself the last 200 shards and then also get a very nice unit. Um, as for the 39 Brave, that was just uh, a mistake. I sure hope this person doesn't think I prefer units at 39 Brave. <laughs> I enjoy Cabbage's content, but he just doesn't realize that he comes off as a War of the Visions Gumi White Knight because he loves the game so much. Uh, I'm actually very aware that I come off as a White Knight, uh, but it's not because I love the game so much. Again, it's because I understand the culture and the history and the context. And big picture, both global and uh, JP versions of War of the Visions are performing very, very well, uh, very smoothly compared to a lot of other games that I've seen. I see a bright future for the game, especially with uh, how well EX jobs are going. They're not like a uh, giant earthquake of crap. But when there is something that we should be concerned about in War of the Visions, I will let you know. <laughs> I am ready to quit at any time if things get out of hand. Uh, I think I've blocked this guy, however, so he's not inclined to like me anyway. <laughs> On Cabbage, you know where it all went south? It all started with trashing Whisper. I'm not going to say anything except all this time you've been trashing Whisper, Dr. Diggs. Uh, you could have been working on uh, leveling her up. Umbro just doesn't care anymore when he makes his War of the Visions videos. I've kind of noticed this too. Uh, Umbra is the OB. I have lots of respect for him. I watched him for years doing uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And this is kind of a pattern for him. I hope he gets his uh, spark back. He kind of blew me up on one of the Umbra's vids about power creep and didn't even reply when I politely explained my position. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I don't get uh, notifications. Uh, to replies on other people's videos. Uh, so I don't go back and I don't like dig through other people's videos in the comments just to see if somebody replied to me. So I didn't get back to that, sorry. And he made a bunch of YouTube comment posts about how I wasn't gonna get involved with the global banner thing. And then made a video say like, hi, I knew the whole time the banner was working. Uh, again, anything that I say about my feelings you gotta take with a grain of salt, because my feelings might change. But I never said that I knew the whole time the banner was working. Again, I had to wait until it was like the last day or two of the banner, when it really looked like they were not going to take it down, that I knew. But I was playing it safe by not saying anything in the meantime. Global players need to stop whining. Yes, they do. <laughs> I cannot believe anyone would gripe you over your making an income. We all need to make a living. This is Luke VNO. Got a lot of respect for this guy. 
And he's right, again, you know, if uh, Dr. Diggs can hustle, if he can make this work for him, good for him. To be honest, I would personally, this would just be a personal preference, I would rather that people spend on the game than send me money personally, because that way the game will get healthier, you know, and then we can all enjoy the game together more. I've spoken before like how if a game is not performing as well as it wants to, it can squeeze in certain areas. War of the Visions is already a great uh, test of patience, and it would be bad if it were even worse. Like now, it's a decent uh, experience for free-to-play users, but if it stopped being that uh, because it wasn't making enough money, that would be really bad, I think. About rigged pulls, I still think it's rigged when my recent blah 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 blah. Anecdotal evidence like this is not going to prove anything. Uh, let me know when you uh, map out the entire pool. Am I the only person that always has to process what unit he's talking about for a few seconds before the pronunciations are so weird? If you're talking about me, uh, I get it and I'm sorry. I use like the, uh, the Japanese websites or I use the uh, Japanese pronunciations of the, uh, the characters uh, because it's just easier for me and that's selfish of me, so I apologize for that. People who's idolizing Cabbage doesn't even realize he doesn't give a shit about them. Well, I don't care, but also I'm not like looking down at you, if that makes sense. Well, let me put it this way. I don't care if you like me or not. But if you get something from my videos, that makes me happy. I'll put it that way. Here's another person getting on my bravery. Jesus. <laughs> Nitpicky. He is often flat out rude and becomes amplified by the monotone lecturing professor vibe he's got going on. I'm very aware I have the monotone lecturing professor vibe. But it's just my voice, I can't help it. <laughs> I couldn't do an impression of somebody else if my life depended on it. Wealthy Asian guy, is this a reference to me? I am not wealthy, let me tell you. Cabbage should apologize for Tida and Yashutara. Again, Japanese pronunciation. All right, I think that'll do it for that. Um, as you might have noticed, I kind of sidestepped the drama uh, by not addressing Dr. Diggs directly, because I think there are some people out there that want to see us mix it up. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. Stirring up drama for entertainment or just because you're bored, that's not cool. Uh, but in the case of the rigged banners, that was drama stirred up from a mistake. Uh, from jumping to conclusions, which can be forgiven. So yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.